Well, she's a real favourite uh, on EastEnders, but Kim Fox has actually sailed away from Albert Square to work on a cruise as actress Tamika Empson, well, does something a little bit, a little bit different. Yeah, outside. Uh, mm. Now, her character Kim has joined partner Howie on a cruise after he accepted a lucrative job offer. Well, we'll talk about why Tamika's taken a leave of absence, but presumably because you're on a cruise and yes. ships come back into harbour and they come back into port, so you will be coming back to Albert Square. Yes, yes. We're Correct. not remaking Excellent. the Titanic, so <laughs> I will... <laughs> in the name, you know, in the words of... Um, what's his name? I'll be back. Yes, I'll be yeah. back. Hey, Arnie. Arnie, that's Arnie. it, thank you. <laughs> it's still early, guys, it's still early. I Just did exactly a show last problem. night, do you know what I mean? Yeah, still yeah. warming up. Yeah. So the, <laughs> the, the reason you're leaving is actually not because you're going on a cruise, you're going no. on stage. Yes, I'm back on stage. <laughs> it feels so good. So, it feels so and good. And what is the production? Because it's something that you were originally auditioned for two decades ago yeah. and you were yes. turned down. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the imagine, imagine. Rude. S very rude. Yeah. So it was a, um, an audition at Stratford East 20 odd years ago and um, I had auditioned for one of the characters and it was called The Big Life, I should say, mm -hmm. and it was a ska musical. So What's a ska musical? Ska musical as in um, reggae music mm -hmm. and, you know, it was very different to your normal, you know, musicals that you would see in the West End. Yeah. So I love reggae music, you know, especially on a Sunday, it's all in the house. But it didn't and... love you. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Hang it on. Did... But this, this pause there, right, right now. So then... Um, um, the director, Clint Dyer, had an idea to put me in the royal box. And I said, I don't do boxes, babe. I don't do in box. But so he had this idea that Miss Aphrodite, because this show, sorry, the show is loosely based on Shakespeare's Love Labour's Lost. And it's around these four guys who are on the wind rush mm -hmm. and they make a contract to say they're not going to have any women, they're, they're going to be very straight, you know, no alcohol, no cigarettes, they're going to be all about business, all about getting themselves a better life. Mm. Right. And then when they arrive in London, it's, you know, one by one, as men are, you know, they see a pretty woman. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, again, being part of Love's Labour's Lost, um, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, is who I play. Ah, and yes. you start interfering, do you? I want to say interfering, Suzanne. That's a bit strong. <laughs> but I would say I like to have my little interludes, you know. Love so that. I'm actually part of the audience, so I'm also part of the past right. as well. So it's, it's really good fun. And do you sing? I sing a, a cappella. Oh, lovely. I've got, I've got to put a little something in there. I love that. Yeah. Because, of course, so this it's called The Big Life. It's at Stratford East and it yes. goes until the end of the month. We That's know right. we can see singing, wonderful, yeah. gorgeous voice. But we also know, Tamika, uh -huh. that you can dance. Well, Because you known, did Strictly. Known. Now, you did Strictly the same season as our very own Ed Balls. Yes, Eddie. Our did Eddie Strictly. Balls. Was it the series that Ore yes. won? Yes, that he won. Strictly yes. Trophy. Yes. But many, many people think you were unjustly robbed of going further because I think it was a ridiculous week three exit. You were Gorka's first... Gorka the Gorka, Tomorka. Yeah, to Morka. I remember that. You didn't put a foot yeah. wrong, did you? You were his no, first partner. No, no, no. I was his first partner, yeah. You I still got it? Man. I've always got it. Right, because I was watching it. your Charleston last night. Oh! Come thank on. Thank you. Have you still got some swivel? I've still got the Do you want to just show us a I... bit more swivel? What? You mean here now? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, oh, come on. Can we, can come we? on, let's do shall a bit we? of swivel. Let's see you. Where we are? Are we here? Are we here? Where's my camera? Are you my camera? Yeah. OK, so here we go. Yeah. I love oh, that. Right. Right. So, <laughs> what I say to Strictly is Tamika needs to be back. Thank you, guys. On screen. Second Thank chance. you, guys. Thank you, guys. Second chance. Either yeah, yeah. the whole show or a Christmas special. I'd like to redo it. I mean, the there's a petition thing? going on. I think Anton de Beck has something to do with it to bring me back. Mm. So, well. Anton, if you're watching, please. Yeah. What, a, what about the difference between acting on something like EastEnders and on stage? where it's continuous, you know, there are no retakes, there's no cut, cut, no. do that again. You really have to be on your cues. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I quite love it. I mean, I love EastEnders. It is really lovely to play Kim. But being in the theatre where you can actually feel the audience, mm. and we do encourage people yes. to interact. Right. So when you're there, you know, I'm in between, and I say, is there anybody out there? You know, is there anybody out there in love or looking for love? Because I do play an elderly Jamaican woman. Mm. So it's like, who is this woman talking to? Is she talking to us? But it's, it's a beautiful thing. 
theatre, Stratford East, mm. and the fact that Paul Syrett and um, Paul Joseph, who's the composer, Paul Syrett wrote it, Paul Joseph composed it, and I also added my writing to it. So it's a great combination. It was brilliant 20 that years ago. Bad. And bad. it's brilliant now. So when do you think you'll be back on EastEnders? Well, a little schedule? bit later, a little bit later. Yeah, later in the year. Do yeah. you live with an existential dread oh. that they will just write you out as a soap actor? Hmm. Well, like I said, it's, it's, it's <laughs> I've got my life jacket. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. I want to survive yes. if there's anything that's going to go on, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, yeah, but that, that, it, there's always that. You know, nothing ever lasts forever. No. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm so glad that I was able to do this play. Yeah. And because the, it yeah. just means so much to me about the Windrush generation and for people to see it, mm -hmm. because it's been 75 years yeah. since yeah. the Windrush came here. And I just think that it's important that we remember that that generation. Mm. So it's a great speech. Well, good luck on stage and hurry Thank back you. to Robert Square. Yeah, because the fans want you back. Yes. Yeah. And it's a testament, isn't it, to your character and your popularity yeah. that they're creating that space for you. It is. They've it created really a full is. cruise trip. For I know. You. Bless them. <laughs> I, 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 I do love my I do love my job <laughs> and the fans yeah. and you know. Oh, yeah. All right. And so thanks, thank you. And thanks for giving us some shapes. That was great. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Shapes for you, yeah. Richie. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Strictly, <laughs> bring her back in. Bring her back in. So, yes, it's it is. great to see you. You too as well. Thank you Lovely. so much. Lovely. Thank you for having Take me. Get yourselves down to Stratford East. All right.